Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll discuss the cursor sharing parameter, which determines how the database handles statements containing literal values. In a previous video, we discussed the importance of bind variables for performance and protection against SQL injection attacks. It's probably worth watching that video before this one. When it was released in Oracle 9i, the cursor sharing parameter had three allowed values, but one was deprecated in Oracle 11.2, so we'll ignore it. The default value is exact. Only statements with an exact text match will share the same cursor. When set to force, the database substitutes system generated bind variables for all literals. The cursor sharing parameter shouldn't be considered a solution for badly written applications. This is a sticking plaster solution that can be used to help while the application is refactored to use bind variables. In addition, it doesn't give you any protection against SQL injection in the way using bind variables directly does. Here we've issued two similar statements. They only differ by the literal value. We check the v$SQL area view and we can see two statements in the shared pool each with a single execution. This is the normal action of the database when we use similar statements with differing literal values. This time, we set the cursor sharing parameter to the value force at session level. We issue two new statements which only differ by the literal value. We see a single statement has been added to the shared pool. It has a system generated bind variable in place of the literal value. By substituting in the bind variable, the cursor is shareable for new literal values. We see this statement has two executions. So even though we use literal values in the queries, we get the reduced hard passes and the streamlining of the shared pool we would expect from bind variable usage. Setting the cursor sharing parameter at system level is rather harsh. It's better if you can build it into the connection for a specific problem application. If it can't be added to your application login code, you can target specific schemas by adding an after login trigger to them. This trigger fires on the after login event for the test schema. Its only action is to set the cursor sharing parameter to the value force. So for legacy and badly written applications that don't use bind variables, we can use the cursor sharing parameter to get the performance benefits of bind variables. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.